The Ratan is based on children's stories from India. It's about the Emperor Akbar and his advisor Birbal. It's not a straightforward theatre show where you sit in front of the stage and watch the story go on in front of you. So we try to find interesting things that children will enjoy and bring them together and sort of interwoven in this interactive piece. Okay. Let's go into Akbar's palace to find all of his hidden gems. Make sure you've got all of your things with you and you've got your pendants. At the Emperor Akbar sets this challenge for children to find nine gems, which represent his nine advisors, but also the nine gems that go on in Africa, which is a pendant. The centre of the pendant is a ruby, which represents the sun, and the sun is in the centre of the solar system. So all these different gems represent different planets. Akbar was a patron of the arts, so he supported artists. He had over a hundred artists in his school, um, creating miniature paintings. He was really liberal. He translated Hindu scriptures, even though he was Muslim. He was very tolerant of other religions. So all of this was really important to me for Akbar as an emperor. But it's quite a magical thing that children get to go around um, these different rooms in um, the palace, which mm -hmm. is actually a beautiful tent, and hear stories and experience images and music and cat up dance. In Akbar's court, part of the entertainment was to have uh, Gaddik dances in particular. We run a, a very short and sweet <laughs> Gaddik workshop um, with a short performance with puppets. We really have a three-dimensional element to a story that you normally just read in a book. We found amazing actors that we're working with. Most of them have got outdoor theatre experience. It's on rotation, we've got four actors playing variables. The children clearly really enjoy, they're really interested in it. Um, mm -hmm. Seeing their faces light up when little things are revealed to them is really lovely. And there's shows every 15 minutes, which is great. Verbal, um, you're on. Oh, I've got to go, I'm sorry. See you. Yeah, I've never um, seen anything like it, but it's really good. Yeah, really good. I've got a six-year-old and two and a half-year-olds, and they, they both enjoyed it. Great. Yeah, because you know, kids, the it keeps in their minds. You know, they retain it more when they see it in front of them rather than reading about it. Yeah. I just think the whole thing about the, the collection of the gems and the sort of the, the mystery as you go move around, uh, it's, it's great, the kids love it. Yeah. Favourite bit I think was meeting the, the main man at the end. Yes? One, two, three! This year we've, we've performed in three different mellas around the country and the audiences that we've taken the show to have all been very different. It was really important for us to make this show to promote Upper and Bilba stories and introduce children to these ancient arts that have been going on for hundreds of years and their ingrained traditions that are in them and for something that their parents can relate to and for their grandparents to relate to. As always, the dancer that pleases the Emperor the most will be generously rewarded. This children's specific show, there's not that much children's specific work in the outdoor sector. I think it's very important for the mellers 
the Mellors are experiencing some more in-depth and quality theatrical work within the Mellor programmes and I really hope that this goes on to have more work in that way. It's really nice for people who wouldn't normally see something like this, who haven't got the concentration span, who will never know about a show like this, who would see a poster and ignore it. For us to physically bring them in to see this show and for them to come out saying, oh my God, I can't believe what I've just seen.